All right, welcome back. I just wanted to do a quick review of the previous video lesson to make sure that you got this. So let's go through this quickly one more time. So we have a commercial refrigeration refrigerator that is running a box temperature of 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's using an off cycle or air defrost to get the frost off the coil. And there will be slight frost on the coil during the uh, refrigeration process because the coil temperature is 20 degrees Fahrenheit and that's what you need to have to get the box temperature down to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So in this instance we have uh, proper refrigeration happening, frost is building up on the evaporator coil and we do have 10 degrees of superheat. Okay so the thermostat is satisfied, the box temperature is at 40 degrees and now the coil temp the, the compressor has stopped there's no more refrigeration happening and the coil temperature uh, becomes approximately 40 degrees and the fans always stay on in the refrigerator so when the compressor's off it circulates the box temperature which is above freezing over that coil and that does melt the frost and whatever ice may build up on the coil during uh, the refrigeration process remember the thermostat needs to have a little bit wider temperature swing than we're used to in uh, residential air conditioning. So that compressor's off and that warm air does flow over the uh, evaporator coil and the fans are always running in, in, the refriger in a refrigerator. Now if you ever walk in a refrigerator and the fans aren't running you know there's a problem. Okay and the coil temperature does rise to 40 degrees eventually and the and the uh, frost melts off of there. Alright so that is, is it. Um, fairly simple defrost. In the next series of videos we'll start talking about uh, planned defrost and some active defrosting methods. Any questions is posted in the class forum or shoot me an email.